Hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. every day with myself, Sam Carter, on Super K-pop. Okay, in case you missed it earlier, I'm going to give you the quiz question one more time, so please do listen up. This group's name is the combination of lead from the name of the legendary Led Zeppelin and apple to represent the bright, bouncy character of a young idol group. Now, since their debut, they've been described in many different ways, including performance band, hybrid band, and pop band. And because although they're an idol group, all of the members play their own instruments. They are fans in Korea, and all over the world and one of the members Hambyo is currently the host of the program After School Club on Adidang TV so the question is what is the name of this group A. Blue Apple B. Lead Apple or C. Yellow Apple get your answers in on the message board and I'll be sending out autograph signed CDs of Lee Sang to the winner so please do leave your answers on on that message board. Okay, let's read a few more messages out, I think. Emma from Sweden says, Hello, DJ Sam. Hope you're doing fine. Beautiful spring weather here in Sweden. I thought the fantasy world was quite difficult to come up with, um, but as the Nat Ugla night owl, I am. Uh, I get inspirations at night, and I sat up till 1.30 a.m. to write on your fantasy book, and I really hope you'll have fun reading it. Lots of hugs from Emma in Sweden. Oh, I do remember now. I think Emma from Sweden asked me what kind of books that I like, and um, Emma did say back then that she would write me a book. So yes, and I remember saying I like sort of fantastical stories, uh, fantasy stories. Um, so yes, Emma, that's what you're doing. So yes, mu yeah, much, much appreciated. I hope you come up with something good. I'm looking forward to reading that. Thank you very much, Emma, indeed. Uh, Erica from uh, Venezuela says... To TQ Sam, if you read Missy Fee's messages, she writes the um, abbreviation TQ, which means thank you. But because I'm a Spanish speaker, when I read it, I think that means te quiero, I love you in Spanish. So TQ Sam to you and all Luna Fly. Ah, Erica, thank you very much indeed. Uh, te quiero to you too. Thank you very much. Uh, Wangi from Indonesia. Is it Wangi or Wangi? I'm going to say it as Wangi, okay, since it's a G. But uh, hello, Sam. I'm Wangi from Indonesia. I'm going to try my luck today. Hopefully you can read my message. It's so hot right now in Indonesia. How about there in Korea? What is your favorite season and why? Please do tell us. Love from Indonesia. Oh, that's a good question. I haven't really been asked this a lot. My favorite season. I think all seasons definitely have their own unique positive points um, in winter it's very beautiful to see snow uh, in spring obviously you get spring flowers blooming which is very nice in summer the sun is out and you can sunbathe and uh, the sun generally puts me in a very good mood and then autumn the leaves turn a very beautiful color so I think all seasons definitely have their own unique charms um, what do I like most? I've got to say, right now, I'm loving the sort of summer weather in Korea. The sun is out, and uh, it puts me in a very, very good mood. So, yes, I'll say summer for now. Wengi, thank you very much for that message. Uh, Serena from Malaysia says... Uh, hello, Sam. As the subject of the message says, I'm officially a year older today. I turned 17. And the word old reminds me of you. Of me, right? But not because you're old, but because it brings me back to the Lunafly showcase in Malaysia when fans asked you to do the Kill Me song and you said, I'm too old for this. And the MC pointed out my fan sign and said, Sam, you are not old. And I gave it to you as a gift to remind you that youth is not calculated by your appearance, but by your vibrant personality. I hope you're still keeping it. And uh, yes, um, it actually says, please don't read this out. I feel really shy for asking. Uh, but could you sing me a quick happy birthday song? If you don't want to, it's okay. Sabrina from Malaysia. Do you know what? I've read it out now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Serena. Happy birthday to you. Yes, happy birthday to Serena. Thank you very much for that message. And thank you for saying that I'm not old. Much appreciated indeed. Uh, Serena, thank you very much for that. Um, Gabriela from Peru says, uh, Buenas tardes, Sam. Uh, soy Gabi de Peru. Uh, the weather in Peru is so moody and I'm very stressed because of school 
and it's a wonderful opportunity for your body to get a cold. And my sister's very sick right now. She can't breathe properly, and uh, she's been like that for a couple of days, and it's not going away. So what should I do to make her feel better? Not physically, but emotionally, since a cold can really drain all your energy and turn you into a zombie. Um, and also, uh, Gabriella goes on to say, please stay healthy, don't get too stressed about things, and don't be your usual workaholic self, DJ Sam. Your fans really worry about you. Uh, te mando un abrazo de also desde Peru. Uh, sends you a bear hug from Peru. Thank you very much, Gabby, indeed. Um, so, yes, uh, your sister, yes, I don't know. I think basically what I would do, um, obviously, physically, you can't really help her a lot. Make sure she, she uh, sleeps a lot, and uh, just try and uh, keep talking to her if you can. I think... Um, because, yes, you don't want her to turn into a zombie. Please do try and keep talking to her and cheer her up. Gabriella, thank you very much for that message indeed. Okay, it's now for, for the time that you've been all waiting for. It is Together As One, where, yes, I make a fool of myself uh, trying to speak all of your languages. Uh, but, yes, I, have, I do have a lot of fun doing that. So, um, yes, Together As One. The sentence today, which I need you to teach me, is... Okay. Since we've talked a lot about weather today, this is the sentence. How is the weather today? And then on the end of that, you have to stick an example. For example, for me, London is rainy or Seoul is sunny. So yes, how is the weather today? And then blah, blah, blah is rainy or blah, blah, blah is sunny. Um, yes, you can stick whatever you want on the end. And the winner of Together As One uh, will receive a signed CD of Geeks, who, of course, my guests um, for today are. Uh, so, yes, Together As One, get your messages in, and I'll read out as many as I can later on in the show. Okay, time for some more music. I'll stop babbling on. This is No Reply and Taru uh, with Jokumshik Chanchani Noege, A Little Slowly to You.
Sam's Choice. Sharing music is a symbol of closeness, of sharing a part of one's soul. Now, if you guys are curious about what kind of music I listen to every single day, then listen up, because I'm going to be sharing my music with you. So, today, Sam's choice. Well, NS Yunji is one of my favorite female artists right now. She is not only very talented as a singer, but is also a great dancer and, of course, stunningly beautiful. Her song, If You Love Me, released in 2012, combines a hip-hop rhythm with a romantic, sensitive piano melody and is a good song for NS Yunji's voice. Now, the song was made complete with featuring by Jay Park. So let's have a listen to NS Yunji featuring Jay Park with If You Love Me. Hey, so I'm asking, do you love me? Because I love you. Saying girl, cause I really need to know Is it for real when how deep does it go? Do you love me? Cause I love you Just know that I will always be the one that you can run to Here we go Let's go, girl. 